body and so I decided to make a separate channel um, that is just more focused on like rambling videos and things like that. Um, I do, I do just want to point out that I live in a very old building, um, approaching a hundred years old. I also live near a hospital, two hospitals actually, that have helicopters flying in and out all the time at all hours of the night or day. Um, the windows are thin in this apartment, um, in this building in general, so point being is you are going to hear some background noise. I am confident in that and I'm sorry if that bothers you. I think one of the reasons I haven't filmed in so many months since moving here is because of that specifically of not being used to this level of noise um, and just feeling kind of hopeless about not finding the time to, to be able to film when it's quiet because no matter what time of day it is or night, it's just not quiet here for like the sake of ASMR. So I am just giving it a go today because I'm tired of putting it off and I miss doing this. Um, so um, today is really just going to be kind of like a hangout, quick ramble. Um, I am going to be playing with um, this pendulum that I made. I make different pendulums. So, um, this one has different crystals and beads on it, and the pendulum piece itself is a rutilated quartz, so, um, I have these for different reasons. I make them for people, but I also like to just have them in my hand. Um, I'm an anxious person, and being able to play with something in my hand at times is really nice, so you may hear a little bit of that in the background, um, but just heads up, that is what that is, so I don't really know what I'm going to ramble about today, um, it's just going to flow as we go, so I guess to start I will talk a little bit about my recent move, um, so my boyfriend and I moved in together, uh, let's see, it's June, so we moved in in February at the very end of February. Um, this building, like I said, is very, very old, and the owner of the building, who is my landlord, has wanted to be able to replace all of the windows because they're so old and so thin, but unfortunately, the city won't allow him to do that. And my understanding is the reason for that is because, so the city that I live in is the capital of the state, and there are a lot of old historic homes around where I live, and they basically become considered historic properties, and so you can only change so many things about the property, like, from the original, and so I think that is basically along the lines of what's happening here. They've done a lot of renovations and upgrades to the actual units themselves, but like the windows are not allowed to be changed. So even though my landlord has all the money to do it, the city will not allow him to do so. So they're thin. They're like those old hand crank windows. Um, but that's okay. As you can see behind me, we have some very pretty wallpaper, um, roses on like a black background, and the roses are ivoryish and blush. Um, my lovely boyfriend was very accommodating in my wallpaper choice. Um, it's like a big accent wall in our living room. Fortunately, his favorite color is actually pink, so it works out in my favor. Um, but we went through and like looked at a bunch of different, uh, like 
character-friendly wallpapers that are just peel and stick. And this was the print that we decided on, um, and I like it. I have like kind of like a big gallery wall going on that's kind of maximalist-ish, if you're familiar with maximalism, but for the first like two months of living here, it really, really bothered me. Um, like something didn't sit right on how it looked, like my whole living room just irritated me the way it looked. Um, and that might sound dramatic, but I am somebody that really enjoys doing like interior design like things and I take pride in my home and I want it to look, you know, a certain way. Um, and like I struggle in general if I have like a vision of something and it doesn't come to life the way I imagine it will, it's hard for me to process. So this has been an absolute journey of a decorating thing, but I finally got it figured out. Um, and I really am pleased with how it's turned out. So that's, um, a positive thing. Um, we also ended up taking a piece of furniture from the place that I lived before, and my boyfriend and I completely repainted it and put some wallpaper on the inside and turned it into a bar cart um, and put lighting in it, which was a really cool project to do together. So, um, moving is exhausting and you know, I sometimes forget how challenging moving can be if you have ever moved before. It's a lot of work and it's easy to feel frustrated and annoyed with the people that are helping you or you can be short with them. And I feel like up until recently, even though I moved again like three months ago, four months ago, it's taken me almost this long to, to kind of like catch up and not feel so exhausted from the move because even though we moved in, I feel like every weekend we were still unpacking or trying to make sense of a space um, or shopping for a piece of furniture to like make a house a home kind of a thing, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, so if you have followed along on my true crime channel, which is Neon Moon ASMR, or is it Neon Moon Whispers? See, like, God, it's been four months. It's Neon Moon. I know that much. Um, then you know I haven't posted in a hot second. And for quite a while, I was pretty religious about posting at least twice a week. And that completely fell by the wayside when I moved, but my goal is to get back at it. Um, I think I filmed one time since being here for true crying purposes, and I, I can't remember if I posted the video or not because I was just so frustrated with the noises, like I mentioned, that come with living in a metropolitan area, especially nearby, um, uh, hospitals, very busy hospitals, so I just, I'm pretty sure I gave up and didn't post it, but, um, part of what I was thinking earlier today when I was like, you just need to film something and post it on your new channel, I was like, I need to stop being so hard on myself and having such insane expectations. I know I'm a perfectionist. I totally know that about myself. But at the same time, like, you have to be able to adjust and adapt and roll with the bunches. And there are plenty of content creators that I love to watch or fall asleep to that have background noise. And so it's like, no big thing. It never really bothers me unless it's like a really loud, abrupt noise or some people will like literally mute in the moment of like when something loud is coming and it never bugs me. So I think it's natural for us to hold ourselves to a different standard, but at the same time, I'm just like, let it go. There's nothing wrong with a little background noise. So, here we are. Um, moving here has also been a challenge because where I lived before, I didn't have neighbors like up, up above me, below me, and on both 
sides. It wasn't like that. So, although the space I am in is bigger now, um, I am like enclosed and surrounded by different units. Um, and that's been interesting because you can always hear people walking overhead. You can hear people in the stairwell. Um, like the way that our building works, it's like a U shape and it reminds me of like a big city building where you have, um, like a, a, a front door where you, you know, it's locked all day long. So you open the front door to your building and then you have to walk upstairs to get to your actual unit and then you unlock that. There's like a buzzer system. So like if you go to the front door or the downstairs, like somebody can buzz up to your unit. So it's very much like a metropolitan style living arrangement and I like it a lot. But I am, and we're on the second floor out of three. So you have someone above you, below you. Um, and then I have this one across the hall, and then our main bedroom backs up to the other sides, either living room or bedroom, so I'm surrounded by people, and when I moved, I feel like it really messed things up with my dog. I will enter a little picture in here for you of my dog. He is so sweet. He is a rescue, but he has never lived in like a true apartment before. So this is very new to him and there's a lot of noises. And so where I never had to like really train on him barking at sounds or, you know, different noises that he hears, I have to do that now. And then I also, um, before I moved, I was able to have my parents watch my dog when I went to work in an office, so he was never by himself, um, but my parents just moved out of state, so not only is he in a new space, but he has to be home by himself all day, and that has been a journey, I did not realize the amount of separation anxiety that this dog has, um, and it's been rough, um, no matter what we did, my dog would scream all day long when we went to work. We did not know how bad it was until we got a letter on our door from our neighbors, and I will say this letter was very kindly written and very nice, um, but it was also clear like we had to address this ASAP. So we got like snuffle mats where you like, it's like ruffles and you put treats and things in there. We got CBD. Um, we got a bunch of busy toys. Um, I, I looked up that uh, reggae apparently is supposed to be like the um, like the most calming music for dogs. So you would listen to reggae. We got a camera so we could like look at the camera when we were at work and see what was going on. I work from home two days a week, and then my boyfriend works three days. Um, at one of the local hospitals and he does 12 hour shifts so we were trying to make our our schedules so our dog was like maybe home by himself one day a week um but um and like for the most part that has worked but it basically turned out that nothing we did worked like he was just a hot mess anytime we left um, he would be distracted for maybe 25 minutes with, like, the snuffle mat and, like, a bone that we would leave out or a greenie. But after that, oh my gosh, like, he would scream all day. We also put him in a crate because he loves his crate and it's a pretty good size. My dog is only 12 and a half pounds and it's a good size crate that he can, like, stand up, turn around, and kind of walk in. And so, putting him in the crate did help, um, like, I think, provide a sense of safety and comfort, um, but it still wasn't enough, so we took him to the vet, and the vet had to prescribe him an anti-anxiety 
anxiety medication called Trazodone, and it's basically like a dog Xanax, and it works, thank goodness. I feel bad having to medicate my dog, but at the same time, it's like you do what you gotta do. It's safe. He, I imagine, feels a million times better, um, given that he's not freaking out and crying all day. So, um, ever since then, ever since doing that, that's probably been about a month, things have gone a lot better for the dog, for us. I even asked one of my neighbors, like, hey, like, have, have things gotten better? Like, I'd really uh, appreciate knowing, and they said, like, yes, things have gotten a lot better. So, because, you know, we're in the time of people working from home, so I know at least two of my neighbors work from home full time and knowing that I work from home two days a week I would be frustrated too if somebody's dog was screaming all day long so I was really really glad that um, we got that situated um, but other than work and now being on a break from school I feel like I have a lot more time on my hands than I am used to. So my hope is to be able to find time to film more. I mentioned earlier that my parents moved out of state while well, my mom and stepdad and I was very close with them or am very close with them. So it's been um, lonely having them gone, especially when my boyfriend works. I feel very alone and my best friend lives out of state as well, and I'll just be honest, I don't have, like, friends in the area that I live, um, which is tough, and I kind of realized with school coming to an end for the semester and my parents moving, how much of a connection filming YouTube videos and putting out ASMR content was able to offer me and how good it felt to have a community of people. Um, I'll be honest, like it really makes me feel less lonely. And in general, I do not mind being alone. I think it's good for everybody to be able to find comfort in being by themselves. But it's gotten to the point that I feel like I'm alone so often that I feel like I'm missing that connection, which I think is really important to being a human. And, um, yeah, I just, like, really genuinely miss the connection from the YouTube community and ASMR and the people that I have from my True Crime channel are incredible and so loving and so kind and bring me so much joy, um, that I figured I would dedicate or that I figured, like, it's silly not to be dedicating time to making videos if I have the time to do so. So that is my goal as of right now. Um, I'll be honest, as you get older, I feel like it is so hard to make friends. I'll be 30 in October and I feel like as I've gotten older, my circle of people like has really drastically decreased. And for the most part, I'm okay with that, but I do feel a little bit of sadness at times. Um, but at the end of the day, I believe in quality over quantity, and um, it is what it is. And I would rather pour my energy into something like this that I know I have a great group of people, you know, enjoying and participating with me. So. I am planning on doing more ramble-like videos on this channel, like I mentioned. Um, I went to London in, Janu in January, and I was thinking of doing a video about my trip to London. Um, things like that. And then I will keep Neon Moon strictly for true crime. Um, more or less not to mess up the algorithm and to really give that group of people like that target audience what they're looking for um so yeah if you have any suggestions on what kind of videos you would like
like to have or see on here, please let me know. Um, if you are new to me um, and you do like true crime, I will link my true crime channel down below in the description. Um, I don't show my full face on there, so this is new. I usually actually just do like scenic backgrounds and then it's just audio um, because the true crime videos tend to be a lot longer. 